subscribe to Gizmo Times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. This is Chetan and this is the Samsung's Galaxy A30 that we're going to quickly unbox and check out and do a quick hands-on of the phone. So this phone is a part of the A series that was uh, uh, continued uh, in 2019 as well with three launches the A10, A30 and A50. A30 is the middle one and uh, it comes with the price of 16,990 rupees and along with that uh, the first thing that you see in this phone is that beautiful design obviously it's not a glass back but it still looks good and the phone comes with a 6.4 inch display that's a super AMOLED display with the infinity U that's uh, uh, just a single uh, small area for the cameras and otherwise it's a bezel-less display and uh, these are the major specs of the phone that's infinity u display that's dual camera uh, a dual camera on the back of the phone and a 4000 mAh battery as well there's 4g LTE and a dual voltage actually and uh, there's a 16 plus 5 mp dual rear camera and also on the front there's a 16 mp camera this, there's a single variant of this phone that's uh, with 4 gb of ram 64 gb storage and it's priced at 16990 that's the official price although the box mentions 18,000 rupees and made for make for India is the campaign that uh, the company is working with uh, with the government of India so that is it and uh, this is the dual so it is a dual sim variant and uh, in most in India most of the Samsung phones are the dual variants obviously and uh, on the top of the box what you see would be this uh, uh, information about how you should be activating the phone with an Indian sim card if you're buying it in India so that's a general practice from Samsung where you actually I have to always uh, activate their phones with an Indian SIM card if you're buying it here. Now opening a box pack is the first thing that you see are uh, these things. Uh, firstly is this uh, transparent cover uh, to protect the back of the phone and uh, the sides of the phone as well. It's uh, just a standard uh, rubber uh, cover and the next one is the quick start guide. After that is the regional lock guide and there's a warranty card and these are the three things uh, in the form of booklets. Next is the phone itself. This is the Samsung Galaxy A30 and the variant that we bought is uh, the black one uh, and it is said to have the 3d arc design uh, that is what the company is calling it, the 3d back uh, which has those uh, lines projected whenever there's light against it and uh, it does look good it's not bad at all but i'm not sure how good would uh, it be with the scratches or with the um, smudges here i don't see that so easily but it could get scratched i guess and uh, on the back is the 16 mp plus 5 mp camera combination uh, the LED flashlight, there's a fingerprint sensor over here and uh, the difference between this and the A50 is that the A50 does not have a fingerprint sensor on the back it's an in-display fingerprint sensor on the A50 here it's the uh, regular fingerprint sensor on the back this is the Infinity U display where you see only this area for the camera and over that is that earpiece grill otherwise it's almost towards the corners of the phone and there's a chin towards the bottom which is obvious for any phone that is in the mid-range category we'll talk about the phone, the design and everything later now uh, the other things that you see in the box package include firstly this travel adapter and this comes with that 9V 1.67A or 5V 2A so it's basically a 15 watt charger uh, that's adaptive fast charging that Samsung is offering on the A series which is another good thing next after that is this uh, pair of earphones that come along with the phone in the box package but these don't have any rubber ear cups so I don't usually prefer them uh, whenever there's only a plastic tip and it doesn't have the rubber ends so there's a pair of, a pair of earphones uh, nevertheless after that is this uh, type c cable indicating that the phone has type c interestingly this is not something that i have commonly seen some uh, from samsung they stick to the basics and uh, they don't uh, usually experiment such uh, in the mid-range phones and finally in the box is the sim card pin the ejector pin is given as well so these were the box package contents now let's move back to the device itself so this is the Galaxy A30 as said earlier this comes with that uh, uh, 3D pack panel. Now checking towards the bottom of the phone is the Type-C uh, port and uh, the microphone, the speaker grill as well as the 3.5 Hz jack. On the right are the buttons, uh, there is this power button as well as the volume rocker buttons. On the top is the secondary microphone and on the left is the SIM card access uh, area. So let's uh, pull that out and see what all comes in that. So it's uh, dual nano plus the dedicated micro SD card slot. Another good thing that you don't have, an, have a hybrid SIM card slot. It's a dedicated micro SD card slot that is offering a storage expansion of up to 512 GB. So this is the Galaxy A30's interface uh, and uh, this is the display. That's a 6.4 inch display that is coming with a full HD plus uh, resolution. 1080 to 2340 pixels of uh, screen resolution and uh, the uh, display uh, is going up towards the top. Uh, this is the Samsung's UI that is based on Android 9 Pi. 
Now getting into the about section, let's go into the Android version and it's the One UI as said. One UI is the newer version of uh, Samsung's UI that is uh, seen on the flash flagships mostly so far. The Galaxy S9 series, Galaxy S10 series and it's based on Android 9 Pie. So that's a very good thing that Samsung is uh, uh, giving the A series also with the One UI. Uh, not all the phones might be getting it but at least the mid-range ones are going to have this and that's a good thing. Now what all are the pre-installed applications? So it's uh, Samsung's uh, mostly the Samsung apps that smart things, uh, voice recorder, Samsung health is there as well, uh, Galaxy wearable app in case you have a Galaxy wearable along with you, there's FM radio pre-installed and the Google uh, set of applications along with that are a couple of uh, Microsoft uh, apps as well including the Office Mobile, OneDrive and LinkedIn and this Samsung members Galaxy apps in case you want to download the applications though these seem a bit unnecessary since you have the Google Play Store for everything that you can download. Apart from that there's Amazon Shopping where the phone is going to be available. It's not just on Amazon it's also going to be there on Flipkart as well and some more unnecessary insta uh, uh, installed apps are Daily Hunt and My Galaxy. Samsung Max is there. Samsung Pay Mini is there for you to take advantage of if you want to do payments from your smartphone. And that's it about the pre-installed apps. These are not pre-installed, uh, installed by us. And uh, there's Bixby Home as well. So you don't have a dedicated Bixby button, which is a good thing. Uh, but there's a Bixby Home in case you want to get it connected and uh, use the Smart Assistant from Samsung. Now under the settings, uh, if you see what else is around the biometrics and finger security. So there is face recognition as well as the fingerprint uh, security that is given here. Uh, you can uh, register your face and let's see how quick that is because most of the other phones in this price range including the Oppo and Realme ones they are very good at the performance of the fingerprint and the face unlock are you wearing glasses right now no and um, registering your face hold of a phone a bit closer so uh, at least it gave a couple of instructions that you have to be closer to the phone uh, you have to be in that box exactly stay on lock screen faster recognition and brighten screen these are the three options here Faster recognition improves the speed but reduces security. So in case you have this, there is a possibility of a video or image being incorrectly re recognized as your face. You can keep this on or off based on how secure you want your phone to be. Stay on the lock screen. Uh, so when you unlock your face recognition, you can choose to have the lock screen presented here or you can directly unlock the phone. I would rather directly want to have, uh, want to unlock the phone so let me try that now. There's quite a good uh, animation that is shown around here uh, to show that the face unlock is being uh, uh, used. Let's check that once again. So that was the animation that was on the top. And uh, not next, let's move on to the fingerprint. Scan your fingerprint is what it says. Uh, this is the fingerprint area. Uh, scanning should be fast enough. Uh, let's check it out. It does require multiple taps, which is okay anyway. And uh, rotate your hand as shown then place the same fingerprint, uh, same finger on the sensor again. So rotating my hand, now let me try to place the finger, it's done. So here what you see are the options of fingerprint unlock as well as Samsung Pass. Samsung Pass is to verify your identity with the internet and other supported applications. And now let's try the fingerprint unlock here. So once the phone is locked, if you press on that, it doesn't take a lot of time, it's uh, recognizing it properly. Uh, but the way it uh, unlocks is taking a bit of a time. It takes about half a second for the recognition and then the unlocking of the UI. And uh, compared to that, if we check out the face unlock here, that's quite fast enough. Uh, at, uh, at least right now the light is quite good, so it might be fast that way. Now let's move to the last aspect that is the camera here. So before we go into the camera, the battery here is a 4000mAh one and it supports 15W charging. So I hope the battery life is quite good. We'll be checking out that uh, because uh, I'm going to use this as a primary phone for a few days to see if it does well with the battery life. But the 15W charging will help for, for sure. Now these are the options under the camera application. There's photo where you have the regular and a wide angle uh, camera. So the video recording that is possible here is up to a max of Full HD so you can't record 4k videos with this it's Exynos 7904 processor that Samsung's own chipset and that can record a maximum of 4 uh, 1080p videos that is both with the front facing camera and the rear facing camera there's live photo focus as well where you can adjust the amount of blur that you need uh, of behind the subject 
and under the pro mode you can change the ISO white balance as well as the exposure value and there's a option to capture the panoramas as well now moving on to the front facing camera uh, what you see here is not a bad quality but the exposure is a bit too much on the back when you're trying to take a capture a selfie uh, you can rather yeah reduce that but uh, again that would reduce the entire light on the face as well uh, right now the light is not so uh, aggressive on the face or behind the face but still uh, the exposure is not so well done but we'll have to check out anyway in natural light uh, conditions uh, before we comment so much uh, so there are options for the video and live focus on this uh, front facing camera as well so let me try a selfie with the live focus this is the selfie with live focus where you see that uh, the face is under focus quite well under the focus and uh, uh, there is a bit of an issue with the hair and the camera is quite well uh, out of focus here uh, that is well blurred so it doesn't uh, seem to be that bad but you can still uh, see that this is just a quick sample it's not a, a full-fledged thing that we did here and background blur can be changed you can ch change the amount of black background blur later after the capture is done so that is uh, with the selfie camera that is given on the Samsung Galaxy A30 that is also a 16 megapixel camera so this was a quick hands-on and the unboxing of the Galaxy A30. Uh, I'll be doing a separate camera review, a gaming review for you to see if it does well with that. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions, do let me know. And subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.